guys, so today I'm gonna be doing another DIY squishy kit review. I've done one of these very recently and you guys seem to like it. Well, most of you seem to like it. There were quite a few people who were um, very upset because they felt that I was too harsh on the product. There's no point in doing a product review if you're just gonna lie and pretend that the product is good when it's not. Yeah, I I I I, lo I, I love it. It's it's great. There's there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. No, I'm just gonna tell you what's up because I don't want you guys to waste your money. Yeah, disclaimer, 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 disclaimer. Let's just get into this. Okay, so about the product, I found these at five below. These are by hashtag. Be you. Soft and slow DIY squishies were the first DIY squishy product I'd ever seen in stores and the day I found those I just happened to go to Five Below and I found these. These were each $5 in comparison with the soft and slow squishy kit. Minimum you're gonna pay $10 so these are half the price so yay. More money for me. So we've got donut and ice cream. It's interesting because this packaging does not allow you to squish the squishy. So you have no idea what the actual squishy is like. One thing I do notice about these is, hey, hey, look, they put normal colors in here. They have a brown, a tan, a green, and a pink. The soft and slow colors are very otherworldly, uh, alien, neon colors. I am very happy with these colors because even though there's not that many of them, at least this is reasonable. I guess I'll open, let me open this one first. Okay. Okay. So slow rising is very important to some people. Um, so I will say this is a respectable amount of slow rising. It's not the most I've ever seen, but this is pretty good. Uh, this shape is giving me deja vu right now because, one second. Here is the Squishy's long lost twin brother. They're the exact same. This is just a random squishy that I got from China like months ago. So I don't, it's just weird. I'm just pointing it out just because. Interesting. Let me go ahead and open this one as well so I can see what the donut is like. The shape is very awkward. It's like a weird oval shape. And then also the foam on the donut kind of looks like sloppy to me almost, but the ice cream is extremely neat and detailed. So they're kind of weird to come from the same company. Maybe they don't manufacture them the same way. I don't know, but it's just, it's just weird because, ooh. okay. Instructions, uh, use paint to create a custom design. Let dry for 24 hours, squish. Do not consume squishy for squishing only. Oh, dang it. I'm gonna go ahead and switch the camera over here so you can see what I'm doing. Welcome to my table. So I'm just gonna play around with this paint first and just see what it's like. <laughs> kind of stupid to swatch white, but um, sure. Here are the colors we have to work with. So I guess I'm just gonna get started painting these suckers. Clumsy, oh, I'm clumsy. I'm just gonna use a popsicle stick to spread the paint. That's as far as this bottle of paint is gonna go. I thought that there was more paint in there, but there's really not much paint in there at all. So I guess I'm gonna have to dip into the other bottle of brown. The bottom is now done. I have to let this dry now. Let's uh, get started on the ice cream cone. That'll work. Okay, so they have been drying for a little while now, so they are completely dry. I think I'm actually gonna get a little crazy and mix colors here. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Ugh. That's every last drop of the white paint. So it's very plain. I'm gonna do it. I know that these sprinkles aren't part of the kit, but I can't resist. It's 
So now all that's left to do with this one is just to let it dry. Now for you, little ice cream cone. Yep, it's happening again. Okay, so it's been 24 hours since I started this adventure, and yes, I did put the same weird sweater on again, just for the sake of being consistent. And the squishies are done. Yay. Success. I like these. I think that they turned out pretty cute. I did cheat a little bit by using my own sprinkles because I ran out of paint and I wanted there to be something on them, you know, like some sort of detailing on them so they're not so plain. So I guess my biggest gripe about this kit is just that it doesn't come with very much paint at all, especially for the donut. The ice cream, it's smaller, there's less surface to cover, obviously. I would not have been able to do this donut with just using the paint that came in the kit because I had to use almost two whole bottles of brown paint just to do the bottom, and there are still areas that could use more paint. So yeah, if you do go out and buy these, I would recommend getting both kits so that you have double of some colors and more paint options to work with. I believe the only place you can find these is at five below. They did have two other options. They had a unicorn and then they had a hamburger also. If you're going to go out and get a kit for DIY squishies, I would recommend these over the soft and slow. I have my little friend here. <laughs> this is the squishy I decorated in that video. And I'll get a close-up going here. The color smears really, really bad, and I haven't even been handling it that much at all. Some areas are almost back to white because so much of the color has rubbed off. Uh, also, it gets a little like weird and sticky and like a residue on your hands um, because I guess the color is coming off, but this one took only 10 minutes to finish as opposed to 24 hours, but this will only last about five minutes before the color will start to come off. This, I, I mean, it's fabric paint. It's gonna be there for a long time. Also, they're half the price. This squishy is so much better than that one, but the paint is so much better than the markers, so I wish I could just morph these kits together and you'd have the perfect DIY squishy kit, but what can you do? I'm sorry if I talked about the soft and slow squishy kit a lot in this video, but these two are really the only two DIY squishy products on the market that I know of, so it's hard not to compare them with each other. Okay. Mm. After testing out these two kits, here's what I've come up with. If you've never done squishies before, but you're interested in trying them out, I would get this kit. Go to Five Below, buy both of these two kits, try them out, see if you like the process, if you're still interested, then go online, buy a bunch of really cheap squishies from China, then go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby and buy a bunch of fabric paint in your choice of colors and go to town decorating those squishies. Or buy soft and slow squishies and buy your own fabric paint to decorate them. Although somebody commented on my last video that if you try to use uh, fabric paint on soft and slow squishies, it will peel off. I'm not sure how true that is because I haven't tried it yet. I don't understand why that would happen because every squishy that I've tried decorating with fabric paint has been just fine. But I don't know, maybe there's something different with soft and slow squishies that makes them fabric paint resistant. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't tried that yet. Okay, so that's it for today. I have some very exciting DIY slash homemade squishy videos planned for the very near future. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned, keep watching. I will see you guys on Friday. Bye.